Hey, welcome back to the show. So excited. George Moss is trying to find me on Twitter right now, but he's such a big deal and I'm such a small deal that <laughs> his Twitter feed won't even find mine. It's basically going, you're not worthy enough. Even though you are friends in real life, your Twitter feed is not cool enough. So I don't know how to use the Twitter machine, man. It's just, oh, someone's coming. Oh. <laughs> See, you're much, just much more important That's right. That's than, right. than, than no, me. Not, not important, man. Oh, You're be important. quiet. You have your own show. Be quiet. You have your, mm. you have your own show. There's a camera right there. Mm -hmm. This TV is the size of my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> like, the wall in my apartment is this size right here. It, it is, and I take it home every night. I take it home every night because I am playing video games. So it's very mm -hmm. awkward and weird. Sometimes I ask Paige to help me carry it out. It's heavy. Mm -hmm. it's but it's very heavy. Usually I just tell her where to carry it. <laughs> uh, I don't, she's like, watch your step. Watch That's your true. step. You're doing yeah. great. <laughs> so... You know, so yeah. someone's got to play on the PS3, so. You know, I, I need to get back into video games, man, because I don't think, I really haven't actually played for real video games since Sega Genesis. Like, really? Back in the day. Back in the day. How long is that? Like, like Sega 90s? Genesis. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm old, folks, wow. just so you know. Golly. And that's like, hedgehog, like hedgehog, right? Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. I used to play the game until mm -hmm. like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, like that. wow. But now they add too many buttons. Like, I can't really control. True. Like, you got to, like, control where you look and then control where your feet go. And then there's, like, 9,000 buttons on the controller, and I, yeah. I just can't do it. I don't it's know. a rough looking. line. It's very, it's very yeah. stressful. It is. First world problem. <laughs> I know. I know. I it's know. like, these are just horrible issues. Too many buttons to push. There's like five different angles you can look at. Yeah. Don't know how do to you jump. get like sick, like motion sickness? Because I can't play video games because oh, of that. You probably can. Oh. No, I totally get it. I'm telling you. you Especially on something like that. Oh my gosh, uh, yes. It'd be like know. a roller coaster. Mm -mm. That'd be kind of, the, 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 the game up. that I really thought was going to be the most amazing mind blowing game this year was uh, the Call of Duty. Uh, yeah, Ghost. The ghost game. Yeah. That's the one game I play. Seriously? Yes. Go? The yeah. zombies. See, I hate oh the gosh. zombies though. That's I the part. Them. That's the part. Preach. I don't like. The, I don't like the idea. I like the whole concept of the zombies. I hate zombies. Yeah. But oh. it's I, I don't of, mind shooting zombies. Yeah. There's no zombies here right now. I, I shoot. shoot it. <laughs> no question. <laughs> I, I think about it a little I'm bit not, as I. Was they gonna eat me? I'm just not good enough to play the zombie games. You actually it's, good enough? Well, okay. This is what happens. My brother's big into video games, and then he gets like, he's like, oh, come play video games with me. So I'm like, okay, but you have to teach me. So then he gives me the remote, and then he just starts playing, and then I just. <laughs> die because he doesn't teach me. So eventually I taught myself. So that's one I can play. See, people like that are shooting real life. That's what. Yeah. If you want to play with me on video games, I'll, sh I'll show you with the book. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> this went really, I just thought about my comment of one time I walked in here and there were two bags of food and I said, if anyone touches this food, I will oh, punch no, them totally. in the face. Totally. And it was a joke. And, and you just said you'll kill somebody. No, I didn't yeah. say That's I'll why we're best somebody. friends. I said I'd shoot somebody. Okay, okay. It's different, yeah. Oh, it I is. can save people yeah. now when they get yeah. shot. Yeah. Okay. You can, you can I mean, die. You yeah, have, man you shoots people. Shot. That's true. Yeah. Spider Man shoots people. Right. What, with yeah. webs? With webs. He never, right. oh, you're right. He never shoots I don't think he uses a gun. He's not very violent. I shoot people with my camera. Selfie. Selfie, yes. Yes. There it is. Non violent. So you're not that big into games. Games, but it, some games you still well, like. I mean, but I still play. My son plays video games all the okay. time. Okay. So mm -hmm. like, I play video games with him, but I don't actually go and play video games with my friends. Like time. intentionally like, spend no. time doing. But does it yeah. unwind you, or does it like just get you just to mm -hmm. relax, or does it like no. amp you up? Because there's there's two different. To me, it's just sort of like oh, okay, I enjoy it. Then there's some I'm just like oh my goodness, next level, next level, because it amps you up. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it stresses me out more so than anything. Well, mm -hmm. it's because like I said, I'm a professional gamer now. Exactly. So there's also, I've been um, enlightened on Minecraft. Mm. And yeah, yeah. And not, and not the, like, the normal mode, but the free play mode. Whenever yes. all you do is sit there and build buildings the entire time. And it's just nice little peaceful music. So you just sit there and days off for like hours and hours and hours. And you build like everything yes. from libraries yeah. to yeah. Like houses. And my like kids are actually on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My son is really one. into Minecraft yeah. now. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. The thing is, it's like, on one hand, you don't want them to sit there and play video games. You're like, right. I'm a horrible parent. You <laughs> sit here and play video games. But on the other hand, it's kind of like Legos. Like you're just playing mm -hmm. Legos virtually yeah. now. That's true. But yeah. the thing about Legos now is like kids are now dumber because 
you know how we used to have Legos as a kid, like there was no instructions. Like you didn't have a kit and you, you had to kind of create this whole <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, make your yourself. own thing, right? Yeah. Now it's like there's instruction manuals mm -hmm. of how to put the Legos together. I'm like, mm -hmm. you just ruined the whole creativity. True. Of very Maybe true. Maybe it shows us a lot about our society right now. Like we need instructions mm -hmm. for everything. Easy right? fix, easy instant gratification. Absolutely. Yeah. Did you have you seen the Lego movie for for going I've on Legos? I haven't. I haven't mm -hmm. seen it, but huh? actually my friend said it was funny, which is surprising. But yeah. they said it was funny. It well, is very. You have you seen it? It is very funny. Yeah. Oh, so you saw it. I've seen, I've seen it. I saw it saw once. It I've game. seen it twice though. <laughs> actually, <laughs> took my uh, nephew. So and he oh, loved it. I nice. uh, mm -hmm. thought it was great, and it sort of talks about that because the one he follows in instructions all the time and what it's it like to create mm. this oh, different really? world so yeah so it's definitely got oh, a wow. it's definitely got some the little themes in there so when you said that that's what made me bring it up uh, there's a couple cameos in there and it's it's a lot of fun Man. it's a good and it's an uh uh, it's got some good adult humor in there, so you can uh, adults are and kids are good to go. So it's not just like kid le Lego movie. So it's it's fun. It's a good, but it's got that little bit of okay. What is this sort of world of just making your own kind of stuff up? Huh. So it's cool. That's kind of interesting. I want to kind of see the movie now. Like, I know. I heard it's really funny. Yeah, it's yeah. So yeah, definitely. You need and to I check love it out. And maybe you're the same way. I love going to a movie for kids, mm -hmm. but yet it's adults funny. can get really into it as well with the humor. I love that stuff. Honestly, I feel like I get more involved in the kids' movies than mm -hmm. I do adult movies. Oh, right? sure, yeah. They're way more funny to me. Like Despicable Me, Despicable oh, Me too. love, Great yeah. Movie. <laughs> Toy Story, one of my favorites. Made my kids watch um, Monsters, Inc. University the other day. That was I wanted to see it. I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. It's in the van now, so mm -hmm. I listen to it all the time. It's pretty awesome. And How to Train a Dragon, How to Train a Dragon. Absolutely. Classic, Ratatouille. I can yeah. just keep going on. <laughs> Right. So you know, you don't play video games, but those kid Maybe movies, those movies. kid movies, George yes. Moss is on yes. top of it. Exactly. It's awesome. So uh, good parenting. Yes, great parenting. <laughs> so uh, since you're here, we gotta ask you what what's been going on. You got a lot coming, like mm -hmm. in the neck this month. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> this month is a big deal, Holy Field, and then you got a lot more coming up. Would Would you share what's coming up this month? I don't know what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't play dumb with me, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I thought no. we were friends. Okay. Come on, you can share. No, well, yeah, I am. Uh, I, I'm getting married this month. Whoop, like I just whoop. announced my engagement. Yeah. Kind of like let people know on the back end. And you doing the slow clap? Getting married this month. Slow clap. No, it. that's a good clap. Yes. I don't know if that's a slow life. No, you shouldn't be doing clap. this, man. <laughs> no, you still good. have time to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do, but I'm not gonna say anything because I like her. I don't. I don't know her, but uh, for, if you like her. She's then, pretty cool. Then she's awesome. Yes. You like her if you so, just get to know her, man. So, so, right. so, and uh, and uh, you haven't in <laughs> invited me yet uh, to be your best man, oh, but... Uh, that, you didn't I, get the invitation? I, I sent it out. Like, <laughs> no, you know I'm not I yet, they buddy. Come, they have to return and put the cover sheets on. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll be go back in the mail next I'll week. be looking for that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Good. Yeah. Good. Definitely. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, congratulations. Seriously, Thanks, man, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, man. Like, you know, mm -hmm. this whole new area. I've never really talked about relationships and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. this whole new area is like uh, kind of opening up more conversations and even talking about things. Like, it's a big difference between like I, I know this is gonna be a big difference between being single versus being married. Like, definitely. Oh, excuse me. Even already, there's like mm -hmm. new stuff that comes. Like, she'll come over the house and. She'll put the toilet paper on backwards in my house. Oh, like, I hate them fighting okay, words. So now, over or under? What do you say? Over. Put, over? Over. 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 Everybody says I, over. I say oh. over. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. not We haven't a fan. had a fight about that or nothing like that, but I'm just saying it's just it's weird. It's just different. But you can't be mad that she put toilet paper up for it. It's no, like one of those catch twenty two. It starts. I mean, this is stuff we talk in premarital. But it's true. See, I'm telling you, as a therapist, we talk about some crazy stuff because this leads to a pile of other stressors that are going to happen in yeah. life, right? Yeah. Talk and about it the, now. And I, I noticed mm -hmm. that it's like they're saying like all these. I can't see we're us arguing or fighting and things like that right now. Right. Because right. We're you know Bless. we're just getting married. It's great. Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. But I'm like, I can't I can't imagine. There's this little stuff that's little different things. It's like, man, I can't imagine this turning into a fight one day that we're gonna argue about toilet paper. 
-hmm. But apparently married couples do stuff like that. Yeah, they do. And that's the, what I love though about this is that you're being authentic and real. And that's what you guys out there need to know is that that's real stuff. It sounds silly now, but conflict is gonna happen. And so how are you gonna resolve it? That's a good question for yeah. you and your future wife. I mean, have you talked about that much? We talked about that. We talk about all sorts of stuff. Going through premarital counseling, yep. we've been going through that. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we've been going through Four different premarital counseling <laughs> right. for the yes. past few months has been, yeah, been that thing. But just a lot, a lot of the ideas about communication and things like that is mm -hmm. one of those things that not just for a marriage, but just in general of you know how you can communicate with your teachers and your parents sure. and things like that. Like not kind of like going at it mm -hmm. to win a fight or an argument to really kind of approaching any conflict with love and trying to like you know say hey we're on the same team let's mm -hmm. work out this together so that way. One person doesn't win and the other person loses, but everybody wins. Yeah. Um, in the, in, in the and that's so hard because I think particularly today, we use so much technology to have those discussions mm -hmm. that we don't know how to have the face-to-face -face conversations. And so that's why I love people like you coming on and be like, listen, we're gonna have to have this conversation. We're gonna have to learn to find a compromise. And that's what it comes down to. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm definitely more so me than her. She's pretty good at this stuff. Me, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm. I'm used to, you know. Your bachelor, leaving, you know, yeah, yeah. doing I'm your own thing. Leaving things where they are and coming back home and they're still there. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I don't know how it's gonna be. I'm, I haven't had a roommate. I've got my son, which is pretty much a roommate that doesn't pay rent. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, but you can tell him what to do, yeah, right? Because he's him your son. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's different. <laughs> Not the same thing, <laughs> buddy. As best friend know. advice I could give you, not the same thing. It doesn't work for the so, wife. so. But no, congratulations. I know that you got these conflicts, but it's a joyful time too. It's a fun time. Yeah. You guys are both making great decisions for both of you to come together. I just find that mm -hmm. awesome and amazing. And uh, there's gonna be great times ahead too. Yeah. So really, mm -hmm. really excited for you, man. What I'm most excited about it, man, it's like it's really influencing the way I'm writing for this next record too. Like, oh, awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna able a chance to talk about stuff that you know I don't normally talk about. You don't really hear Christian artists talking about, you know, love or conflict or mm -hmm. just just real stuff. And I'm really excited about this next record to uh, to get some of these songs done and get some of these songs out to where it's like mm -hmm. it's not just the Christianese typical things that you always hear. But it's uh, just real life stuff, real stuff that people can relate to. So. Do you know, and it's also interesting because when you are married, you're allowed to talk about intimacy in a totally different way. You know, mm -hmm. it's the regular, the media and entertainment industry, when they talk about sex and they talk about that stuff, it's from a single perspective and a completely distorted view. Yeah. Whereas you're coming at it as like, this is my wife and I love her so much. And there's yeah. the, just a different level of intimacy. I'm sure that's opening up huge doors for you. It is, it is, but it's also one of those things I'm trying to not confuse the two. It's like, how do you talk about, mm -hmm. well, one of the things I'm wrestling with now, how do you talk about love and intimacy and things like that mm -hmm. in the context of a marriage, but still have, you know, teenagers listening to it. Or yeah. exactly. people listening to exactly. it. Like, oh, this is great. Let me go mm -hmm. out and do this too. I want that as well. But exactly. it's not the same thing. So I don't know. A lot of the stuff I'm writing will never be released, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the stuff I'm writing guys. will be. So I'm pretty excited. But, that, but that's what's good too. So I think it's, uh, uh, open up your passions because mm -hmm. one, uh, you s I think some of the best writers have been usually after breakups, like after oh, hard, sure. bad times, and what then at, during breakups? good times. Okay, good. I'm like, you're like, no, but like during <laughs> yeah. both, like extremes. the extremes, yeah. because mm -hmm. then it's, oh, it's like flowing from you. It's like what you're in right now and what yeah. you're dealing yeah. with, and you f you're definitely in that area right now where yes. your passion is, and so that's exciting. Sorry, not to break up. It was yeah, the, no just the up. two, no the up two extremes though, like, cause you can see other writers, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like, because that, uh, that seems really good. Well, you saw when it was written, it was from the heart, and yeah. it seems like your stuff has really come from the heart, but from a much more positive perspective, mm -hmm. so. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. So what's going on with this new record? What's been going on? What's your plan? What's what's going on, man? Well, I actually, I started the I started recording last summer. Um, nice. And then I ran out of money, because it's very expensive to uh, mm -hmm. record a record. So actually, after that, I was talking to some managers and some agents and some record labels and things like that, and just really realized like that's not the way, not the route that um, I'm called to go in. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to, I'm putting together a campaign. I've been talking about it for a while to do a Kickstarter or a Indiegogo, some sort of fundraising campaign where I can get fans involved in the funding of this album to, to put it out there for the world to hear. Because if I'm gonna try to rely on like a record label or something like that, it's really not gonna happen. That's not the, not necessarily the route that I wanna go to. Um, 
and it's not really the most lucrative thing for a record label to try to invest in something like me because I'm not out there making millions of dollars. I'm not out there trying to sell, you know, tons of records and be at the top of the charts. I'm out there to make music for people to, you know, live to. So um, getting the fans that are already back me, already support me to get involved in this project and not just do it by myself, but take on this whole project with, uh, with a team of people. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about that. You'll be hearing more about that later on. We're going to be doing a, a big fundraising campaign that's going to be all sorts of like different rewards that I'm going to give away. I mean, some of them include possibly me like coming to your house and cooking dinner. Yeah, and we heard about that last yeah, time. Yeah, we talked about that? Exactly. Yeah. Is there one where one. the person can be the best man at your wedding? Yes, <laughs> there is one. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so that was still up for bid. Awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you guys more about that later on, man. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. No, that that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, really cool. Uh, are you are you gonna stick around or do you gotta get going here? So you uh, I can stick around for a little bit longer. Man. All right, I'm, perfect. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be here for just a little bit after this too. So. Okay, so perfect, yeah. perfect. Oh, so. oh, and then coming up this weekend, I'm gonna be in San Diego. So if you're out in San Diego, come out to where I'm gonna be at in San Diego. I forgot where I'm at. It's at Acquire the Fire in San Diego. I forgot the name of the So church, we'll, why don't we talk a little bit about that. During, we'll play a song and then we'll let you talk a little bit about that and okay. some upcoming mm -hmm. stuff and then we'll let you go. Does that Sounds work? Good, All right, so we're going to play another song, more of a George Moss after the break. So excited he's here with us. Here is some more music from Remedy Life where we chat, listen, and love. 